Welcome to N4OS Event Management. In this video, we're going to look at how we go about modifying a monitor while it's active. We're going to first define a monitor, then we're going to explain why it would be best to activate a monitor without having to deactivate first. So what is a monitor? A monitor verifies incoming documents against a defined monitoring rule. If the result of this evaluation of the event is true, then the monitor will generate an alert. The alert is sent to users that are based upon the defined distribution list, which can be composed of one or more users, distribution groups, contacts, and or email addresses. The users that are receiving an alert will see that alert, their personal N4 OS portal, the N4 inbox application, and by email if so defined. So why do we need to modify a monitor while it's still active? Well, the monitor is looking at BOD's business object documents, that are passing through the N4 ION service. If the monitor is not active, then when that event moves through the ION service, we lose the ability to trigger off of that BOD. So there are some aspects of the monitor that can be updated while the monitor is still active. These include the alert message, the defined distribution as to who will receive the alert message, the escalation and reminder settings, and the drillbacks configuration. So let's see what's involved in modifying a monitor without having to first deactivate it. So I want to go to ION, I'm going to open up the navigation pane. We're going to go to monitors. We're going to find our monitor that is active and we're going to open up that monitor. Now we see here that the monitor is active. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change to the alert message. So what I want to do here is I want to indicate that this alert message is coming from my monitor shipment status. I'm going to change the alert message and I'm going to indicate that the monitor the message is coming from is the monitor shipment status monitor. So I come in here and I change the message. I'm also going to make a change to the distribution list. So I'm going to click there. I will click on the add. I'm going to select a user and I'm going to select myself. I'm going to send an email to this selected user. So I'll leave that checkbox there. I do not want to distribute to the manager of this selected user. So now I click on OK. And I have made a change to the distribution list. So now if I come up here and I click on the save icon, we'll see that there is now a white star on a black background next to the active indicator. So at this point, this is telling us that a change has been made to this monitor since it was last activated. Those changes have not been applied yet. If I mouse over this icon, a tooltip pops up that says this item has changed since its last activation. So at this point, to apply those changes, I want to go ahead and click on the activate icon. But now the tooltip is going to pop up and tell us reactivate. So I click on the reactivate button. Our monitor is still active. The white star on the black background has now gone away and the changes that I made to the alert message and to the distribution have been applied, all without having to first 
deactivate and then reactivate this monitor. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to get the latest updates.